Hi, I'm Sean. I run the website dishonorablespeechandpolitics.com. I've previously done a video on 10 reasons why people speak dishonorably, including such things as to get something in the external world, to connect with others through negative bonding, and to feel powerful. Looking at that list can give us an idea of why we're speaking dishonorably now or in the future. But how did we learn dishonorable speaking in the first place? This list gives some places we may have picked it up in the hopes that we can all become more aware of how we promote and propagate dishonorable speech in our everyday lives. Number one, whenever we heard others use it, first at home by our parents and siblings, then at school by our classmates and teachers, and in the media, including TV, internet, and video games. Whenever we speak dishonorably, we're promoting and spreading dishonorable speaking in the world. Number two, when we saw people seem to get ahead by using dishonorable speech, and we didn't see, because it's less obvious, that they were damaging their own experience of life. Examples of this are people getting attention and special treatment by playing the victim, yelling angrily to get their way, and or lying about things. Unfortunately, when we use dishonorable speech to get ahead, we don't get the joy of truly earning things and knowing we earned them. We also do damage to our conscience, thus the damage to our own experience of life. Number three. When we've been taught a win-at-all-costs mentality. This is an ends-justify-the-means approach to life where the end, i.e. winning, has been overinflated in value with respect to such things as personal integrity. I think this is often part of a confusion we have in which we believe our opinions of ourselves primarily depend on our accomplishments and what results we get rather than how we play the game of life. I also think this mentality is pervasive in the U.S., probably more so than people realize. Number four. In children's stories, such as ones that include a wicked witch who's all bad and basically inhuman. Unfortunately, some stories are set up to inspire us to cheer for the demise of the all bad person when they get what they deserve. I don't believe there are many, if any, people who are all bad, with no redeeming qualities, and it's sad on some level when anyone dies, no matter how bad the things they've done are. Number five, in jokes. Dishonorable speech can be funny. There's plenty of political satire, comics, etc. out there that are quite dishonorable. Number six, when we're taught, even if only by example, to blame and hate others, such as those who are different from us by sexual orientation, religion, race, etc. So my list again of six places in our lives that we may have learned to speak dishonorably is, I hope it helps you get a better idea of where you may have learned dishonorable speech and thus helps you become more aware of how you may yourself be teaching others to speak dishonorably. Thank you for watching.